What's up, gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you some awesome shiny hunting locations for Steel-type Pokemon. You guys have asked for it, and the Steel fans, you can be happy that we have finally done this video because there's a lot of cool Pokemon that are Steel. Two Pokemon I want to mention that you won't be able to find in the wild are going to be Scissor and Berserker. These are Steel-type Pokemon that people love having, so if you want to find Scissor and find out how to do that, you can watch our bug video on how to do this. And for Berserker, you're simply just going to have to breed it after getting it as a reward in the language class in the game. That's, that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to get those two as shiny Pokemon. Let's move on. So the sandwich that we're going to be making for the steel one is going to be a hamburger, a salty, and a sweet. Of course, there are other recipes that everyone loves to put down in the comments below. So go ahead and share that with everyone in the comments so they know the alternate ones that don't require me to use a salty herba. This one's so simple. You just slap a hamburger on, <laughs> on the buns and that'll give you sparkling power steel, title power steel, and encounter power steel. If you want to do a solo isolated hunt for the Orthworm, you can come to Asado Desert and be right by Kaskarafa. This is going to be really simple because you're looking for a blue shiny. Now, while many people may panic because Orthworms are going to disappear when you uh, see them, you don't have to worry about the shiny one going away from you. This game is preventing shiny Pokemon from running away from you. So when you come out a little bit further, you'll start to see all the Orthworms. Unfortunately, if it's a desert, you just, you know, do a little zoom in. You're just looking for that blue dot, right? That's all you're looking around for it. Don't get confused with those marrows by the water and you just come back to town, reset, go back forward again, back to the Asado Desert, and you'll get all your Orthworm spawns in front of you. And the, the cool part is, like I said, it's it's really fast, it's simple, and you'll be able to get a shiny pretty quick. But if you don't want to be the person that does those town resets, there is, of course, the option of just exploring and moving around the desert. And if you continue just to walk around, you'll get these constant Pokemon showing up. Just make sure, the only, the only problem I get worried about when I travel on on foot if I don't use a town spawn is the fact that these Pokemon can I can walk by one by accident that is my biggest fear when I'm just doing a regular exploration like what if it just spawned and I walked right by it it's a terrible thing so if you're if you're that person who wants more of a challenge make sure you're zoomed out as much as you can go make sure you're completely surrounding yourself on camera at all times spinning around that way you can see if a shiny does show up and you can plan your own pathway just remember if you're running around in the desert when it's like sandy storms and everything like that sand, sand storms it's going to be a a little bit lower on the frame rate and that might hurt you a bit so good luck getting your earthworm it's definitely a cool shiny and uh one of the top tier ones i think it's because it's nice and blue wait before we continue with the steel video i'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button it helps out a lot and you'll also get a lot of shiny luck seriously hundreds of people have messaged me already telling me they're getting shiny pokemon just because they hit subscribe so please hit subscribe all right great Let's move on with the video. If you want a nice little solo Magnemite spawn, I suggest coming over to Lavencia South. They're the only ones that really spawn in this area, and it's also a little bit of a town reset, so not too bad. You do have to pay attention to the Magnemites because they are a little bit hard to notice at first. It's going to be a slightly bronze color. So if you have the double home tap feature set on your Switch, make sure to enable that. Here's how to enable it real quick for those who are wondering. Go to settings, go to system, and then go down to the zoom button. Hit the zoom button on, go back. Go back in here. And then when you're looking at these Magnemites from a distance, boom, I use my home button and I can have X to zoom in. And the moment I see that different color, I know I'm going to get my Magnemite. So you can basically just stay in this area, reset by jumping back into town. And then once you reset, come back out again. And now you have your, your home button. So those people who wanted to know, now you know how to do it uh, with, with visual instructions instead of my audio ones. And yeah, you can just hunt for your Magnemite in this area. If you want to see a better spawn for these Magnemites, you should probably go check out the actual electric video way better spawn for this pokemon all right if you teleport over to the glaciato mountain spot it's gonna be a little bit different as there's bronzongs and magnemites that is a shiny yep that's a shiny okay that's it all right well we got a shiny um so like i was saying there are going to be bronzongs on this mountain as well as magnemites they'll also show up but you'll get more bronzongs solo if okay let's catch this pokemon we're gonna we're just gonna let's go yeah so the shade of bronzong is a lot more greener i wouldn't have noticed it if i did not see it compared to the blue one so there you go bronzong is much more green so if you go to glaciato mountain you'll be having a bunch of bronzong spawning around you when you come over here you'll also get a little bit of a mix of magnemites they will show up it's a little bit of a mixed up a spawn area because you're choosing to use the steel sandwich but we do have a better isolation when you do a psychic sandwich it'll be the only thing to spawn and when you use the electric sandwich you will get uh, magnetons up here but 
check out the electric video separately for that details and check out the psychic video for the bronzong details separately but yeah that's pretty much all you have to do if you want to dual hunt them though this is uh the steel sandwich is going to be great for helping you do that just don't miss the shinies if you come to alfernada and look for uh Klefki, which is a steel fairy type pokemon fairy steel type pokemon you're going to be looking for <laughs> i got so lucky by the way when i just started this a gold keychain and it's going to be right there okay now that i caught the pokemon here's what i was going to tell you guys what to do so pretty much what you want to do is when you're in alfernada see exactly the corner i'm in you just go ahead and back yourselves up right against this town so you can despawn all the pokemon in front of you so there you go i'm in alfernada i step out i'm out of alfernada that way you can do a fast town reset really quick and get all these cleft keys to spawn because it is a steel type uh, sandwich boosted so they will spawn all around you and there's a good amount and you can see that all you have to do is look for that gold key which isn't too bad and i suggest if you're having a little bit of a harder time seeing them uh, do the double tap home button to zoom in if you need to do this go to your settings on your switch and turn them on they're not the in-game settings on the pokemon game they're in your switch settings and then once you do that double tap home and you can zoom in on every single pokemon just to see if it is a shiny or not but as you saw that shiny is actually really apparent from the other ones surrounding it so good luck getting your cleft key a very nice steel pokemon that we're going to be hunting up in the Socrat trail is going to be fortress now when you eat the bug sandwich you'll be getting a lot more bugs up here but when you have the steel sandwich it's going to isolate out this pokemon very nicely and as you can see they're all just spawning in in front of me there are quite a lot of them and when you're looking for the shiny over here you're going to want to make sure that it is uh the bland color and be aware that this pokemon will explode these will explode so you need to save beforehand and uh something i noticed too if it does explode and you save and you reload your game and you don't see them uh make sure that you're looking up in the trees a lot of times they will just be waiting for you in the trees they do that for some reason when you reload your game so keep in mind that's the strategy when you do see a shiny so prevent the explosion use a quick ball possibly if you want to catch it right away and not waste any time and make sure you're looking up in the trees because they do spawn up there upon reload but this is pretty much the spot to get it you have to worry about nothing else when you're in the Socrat trail it's literally everywhere just fortress 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 so this should probably be a very fast hunt for a lot of you guys and and you can catch some of these and use them as trade bait to get some other shinies so great spot to do some hunting and as i was exploring a little bit i that bumped into one there it is shiny fortress and it's going to probably explode so we're going to make this quick and efficient all right so if you head over to the north province area to the bamboo forest this is where you're going to be hunting for bisharps pawniards and i know the new evolution is going to be king's gambit uh, once you're able to get your bisharp which is going to be pretty simple now bisharp has a special place in my heart or pawniard exactly because it was one of the first shiny pokemon i ever bumped into and i took a big break from ruby and sapphire and then just started to play x and y so when i saw this shiny it was a nice blue color and because i thought oh it's a steel type it's maybe they're making sparkles on the pokemon i saw that pawniard blue i just ran away from it without realizing it then i realized every pawniard i bumped into after was red and then i realized oh that's a shiny pokemon so yeah that's my story so you're gonna be looking for a blue shiny in this area you're gonna notice single one spawning around you're also going to be noticing the family spawns so you can just get, go from one end to the other end until you happen to get your pokemon now i got lucky and happened to get this on a live stream and it ended up being a female so i called mine uh queen's gambit once i was officially able to evolve it and it had a mark the cloud watcher so it was really really cool now if you need to evolve all you simply have to do is just catch a bisharp and then target the ones that are just by families just knock out three that's it there's nothing more complicated to that than that you don't have to be holding the item in order to pull this off so you can catch any bisharp and you just do that and you'll be able to finally evolve uh, your pokemon that's simply it and you'll be able to get yourselves a nice king gambit here that is shiny all right if you want to go for a little bit of a dual family hunt for varum and copper rajas this is going to be the spot here so it's coming up from this hill so pretty much you go from north province area one you climb up to this little mountain point and you're going to run this entire mountain point all the way to about there and run it back and you're going to be getting some really cool spawns here so you'll be finding varum families copper Raja, and i have their shinies up on screen so you can see them and it's going to be obvious the varums are going to be a nice gold color so that's that's cool how to get a nice gold car and you don't have to worry about really slowing down in this area at all because they're family spawns which means you could run as fast as possible get as many family spawns as you want and when you see the shiny just stop and go ahead and catch them so i'm just basically running this entire pathway down all the way making
making sure you don't <laughs> make sure you check make sure you check if you got a shiny run this pathway all the way down there you go there's another family spawn here there's another family spawn another family spawn like there they, these guys are everywhere here and just pretty much run it up to this point and then once you're done with your with your little pathway you can just completely reset and turn around to despawn out that crew right there and whenever you decide you want to turn around you can you can just start to turn or continue down that entire pathway reset and just keep going on this mountain and that's pretty much how you're going to be hunting for the Varum family and the Cooper Raja family uh, it's a nice dual hunt family hunt and you could go as fast as you want the faster way to get here though would be via the Glaciado mountain watchtower that would be the fast point of getting there okay if you head over to the watch tower in north province area one and kind of keep it in the area of north province area one basically this whole entire area this is going to be a very hot tinka tough spot they're going to be spawning on their own over here and for this shiny you're going to be looking for a brown hammer but the benefit of this area is not just for this pokemon but for the occasional families of lucario and riolos that will spawn over here so you'll get these guys spawning in families which is nice because you could just zoom around and get those to spawn if you're not if you don't care about Tinker Tough, which you don't really need to, and I know a lot of people care about Lucario, you could come over here. The reason why I'm mentioning not caring about Tinker Tough is because it's an easier spot in another video that we filmed uh, where you can go ahead and get it. Like, it's a lot better in a fairy sandwich to just do them. This is great for just finding Lucario families roaming around this area. So Lucarios and Riolus will be the family spawns in this area where you can start zooming pretty fast and getting them to spawn. There you go. There's another one. So we got like two families over here. That's not too bad. And all you're looking for for the lucarios are going to be the yellow ones that's it if you're not satisfied with the random families of lucario you can always try to do the date skip method by being in this area and getting a mass outbreak we've done that before to get a lucario because if some people just might not want to deal with running around you can do that method too but yeah pretty much all you have to do in this area is just roam around if you if you want to hunt tinker tough at the same time as lucario this is a method which means you have to slow down a bit so the tinker toughs can spawn but luckily for you guys the lucarios will just non-stop just keep spawning when you're zooming and going fast so you don't have to worry about really anything else spawning besides that pokemon so yeah enjoy if you go over to East Province Area 3, you're going to get a lot of Kufen spawning over here, as well as a lot of other things like Magnemites are going to spawn. You're going to get Varum. So it's a little bit of a chaotic area. Orthworm also spawns here. Now, if you just want to do a quick town reset, you could be right over here at this spot, like I mentioned, in Zappa Pico East. And you just have to simply just walk into town and walk back out. And you can simply get a shiny with probably no effort if you just hang out here doing it. It's basically shiny roulette when it comes to all these Pokemon that do spawn there's just so much so if you're just wanting to do any any steel pokemon just get a bunch of shinies at one try this is the chaotic hunt area and i definitely suggest uh, try this out if you really don't care too much and if you want to walk around this area it's a lot of fun to see what pokemon do spawn around when you are walking you'll get a bunch of earthworms you'll get the cool fans it's just it's just very fun so if you're into that kind of shiny roulette when it comes to a certain type and you don't care this is a great spot uh, but if you want to do more of the solo and isolated encounters then i do suggest you start to use the other methods mentioned in this video but yep this is a great spot to do a bunch of different shinies all at once so good luck with that i just also wanted to add this other weird multi shiny hunting spot i found this is a very weird location okay i'm gonna open up my map and it's going to be located all the way to the west of lavincia on this little peak here and the reason why i'm calling this a new spot is because you have pawn yards you have kufins and once in a while you see a earthworm here or there so the trick to this is basically jumping off here you'll get lavincia showing up and then you just come right back and that's your reset <laughs> and you just redo all the spawns. So you'll get Orthworms, your, your Kufans will spawn, and you'll get a whole group of Ponyards here. So this is just a little, little nice area I found to kind of cheat the system when it comes to adding a Ponyard to the little collection. So go ahead, have fun with this spot. Uh, let me know if you guys are trying this out, if you're getting any results here. It's kind of cool just to see it work and be a, a little secret town spawn. You're going to play around with these. These are located around towns, and uh, it might help a lot with your shiny hunting. Okay, so if you go to area zero in research station number two this is going to be your corvinite hot spot there's just gonna be so many corvinites everywhere you go so if you're hunting corvinite this is a great spot you can do this in both pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet it's just the steel pokemon are just everywhere so like what i like to do is just run down this path here you go just jump up like that and just slowly just glide 
and you'll, you'll see just how many Corviknights are just everywhere behind you. And it's going to be a lot easier to get Corviknights. They're just on this entire pathway. So what I like to do is just go up and down this path. Now they do spawn in other areas in Area Zero. You got to make the easiest path possible just to keep going back and forth. And this is the best way I'm getting Corviknights. So why not just share that with you guys? And once they despawn out, you could just turn around, go back again, and just keep spawning in these Corviknights left and right. And when you see the shiny Corviknight, it's going to be a very, very obvious shiny shiny very obvious it's going to be a very gray silvery color and you'll be able to identify it pretty fast so just run this path up and down outside reacher station area two despawn them in and out by walking away from them because you can't do picnic resets here and then eventually you will get your corvin knights uh, so good luck with that this paradox pokemon is going to be a violet exclusive it's going to be for iron treads now for iron treads simply come out from research station lab number four right there just like that and we're gonna hop to our special spot right there by the crystals so fly over to that you'll see that rock it's going to be on even level with it and you're just going to do the shiny reset method so you're going to keep doing this until you happen to get your shiny pokemon showing up on this hill here and the shiny is going to be a little bit difficult to notice as you can tell it's almost like it's missing the black color on it it's going to be a lot more obvious when you see it spawn with a group of pokemon so right now everything can almost look like a shiny so when you do spot it though it will be obvious so i believe you guys got this good luck with this shiny hunt and may you get Get your shiny iron treads in violet and if you're nice give 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 it to a scarlet player you know they were, were scarlet players are missing out on some of these cool future pokemon if you enjoyed this video you'll also enjoy finding these shiny pokemon in this video over here you need to check it out you gotta finish your shiny deck so just just click it get your shinies